Adeno Plus is the first and only rapid, clear-waved point-of-care test that detects all known serotypes of adenoviral conjunctivitis, or pink eye. Using four simple steps, Adeno Plus test results are achieved in as little as 10 minutes, aiding in viral conjunctivitis diagnosis and allowing a treatment plan to be established with the patient during their office visit. Please note that failure to follow the instructions presented in this video could lead to an erroneous result. The Adeno Plus kit comes with everything required to collect the patient's sample and perform the test. Individually packaged sterile sample collector, individually packaged test cassette, buffer vial, package insert, quick reference instructions. Before administering the test, be sure the patient has not used any ocular anesthetic or any other topical medication in the eye. If so, wait at least five minutes before collecting a sample. To assemble the test, make sure there is no damage to the foil pouches before opening to ensure contents are still sterile. Open the test cassette and set it aside. Next, open the sterile sample collector being careful to open at the end opposite the sampling fleece to avoid contact. Remove the lid from the buffer vial. Note, remove sample collector and test cassette just prior to collecting sample. Gently dab and drag the sampling fleece in multiple locations along the palpable conjunctiva six to eight times. then allow to rest against the conjunctiva for an additional five seconds. This will moisten the sampling fleece. Upon saturation with tear fluid, the fleece will glisten. Based on tear volume and composition, the fleece may appear white or patchy pink in color. If the fleece is not saturated, dab and drag the sampling fleece an additional four to six times. Next, Take the test cassette and remove the protective cap. The opened test cassette should be used within one hour. Snap the sample collector onto the transfer window, pressing firmly where indicated. The double click means the test has been properly assembled. Place the absorbent tip into the buffer vial for a minimum of 20 seconds, ensuring that the tip is not bent. Once the test has been activated, Remove it from the vial and replace the protective cap. Be sure to label the test cassette to identify right or left eye and the patient's name. Place the test cassette flat on a horizontal surface and set timer for 10 minutes. Do not interpret the test results before 10 minutes of development time has passed. A purple fluid wave may be observed moving across the result window while the test is running. When the background within the result window is white and 10 minutes have passed, the test may be accurately read. If there is a streaky fluid wave in the background, or if a test is negative after 10 minutes, allow an additional 5 to 10 minutes of running time prior to reading results. The results of the test are indicated through two lines, which appear in the result window, the control line and the result line. The control line appears as a blue line in the control zone. The control line indicates the correct application and performance of the test and must appear for the test to be valid. The presence of both a blue line in the control zone and a red line in the result zone indicates a positive result. An uneven or incomplete red line is due to an uneven distribution of tear fluid on the sampling fleece. Even if the red line is faint in color, incomplete over the width of the test strip, or uneven in color, it must be interpreted as positive. A positive result indicates the presence of adenovirus greater than six nanograms per milliliter. The presence of only a blue line in the control zone indicates a negative result. A negative result is indicative of adenovirus less than six nanograms per milliliter. If a blue line does not appear, the test may be invalid. Re-immerse the absorbent tip into the buffer vial for an additional 10 seconds. If a blue line still does not appear, the test must be discarded, and the subject retested by resampling the eye using a new AdenoPlus test. If a second sample is needed, the sampling may be repeated 60 minutes later. 
Note, the test should be read within six hours of test completion. After this period of time, it is possible that the results may change. For assistance when running the AdenoPlus adenovirus test, contact technical support at 1-800-874-1517 between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific time.